say these six words and you can be, do, or have exactly what you want in this world. Even if you're struggling with doubt right now, this will still work. And this is based on the teachings of Neville Goddard. All right, imagining creates reality, right? But the problem is, some of you say you have a hard time focusing and imagining things vividly. And look, it's all good, okay? Don't worry about it. You're not screwed. Here's a solution. Ready? You can condense the idea, your desire, into a single phrase, which is this. Six words. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Technically, it's just two words, but you're going to say it three times. There's a nice rhythm to it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, why these words? It's simple. What do they imply? That your wish is fulfilled. That you got what you wanted. Now, don't misunderstand this. Neville's not saying to repeat the phrase, thank you, thank you, thank you, over and over again like a freaking robot, okay? That's where people trip up. Don't get caught up with the words. Just a reminder, what's the secret to manifesting? Let's not complicate this. What's the secret? The feeling. The feeling is a secret. Nothing more, nothing less. So if you're saying a bunch of empty words for hours, not aiming for the feeling, yeah, you're wasting your stinking time. Trust me, because it's not the words, you guys, that makes it effective. It's the consciousness of being the thing that the thank you implies that makes it effective. Remember, consciousness is the only reality. As within, so without. It's always an inside job. Here's how to do it. You can actually say these words anytime during the day when you're relaxed. But it's best when you're in like a drowsy state. Ideally, the in-between state. When you're half asleep and half awake. Like when you're going to bed at night or when you're barely waking up in the morning or even after a heavy meal. You pick the time. Then once you define your objective and you're in that sleepy, drowsy state, then go for it. Start saying it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Over and over again like a lullaby, gently soothing you to sleep. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It helps to smile too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just keep saying it. Until when? Until you feel it. Until the single sensation of thankfulness dominates your mind. Then boom, there'll be that shift in consciousness. Your desire's yours. You got it. Why? Because you become one with the thing for which you gave thanks. Is it making sense? And of course, you got to remain in the state. You might ask, but Josh, how will my desire manifest? Question, why would you worry about the how when you're thankful you already got it? Now, that wouldn't make any sense, right? Because if you're truly in the feeling of the wish fulfilled, then you won't worry about it. You just won't. Look, maybe you've got some bills due and you don't have cash at the moment, or you're having health problems, or your marriage is struggling, whatever the issue is. Folks, know what you want, the solution to those things, and speak feelingly, thank you, thank you, thank you, over and over again. Because what you want is already yours. It's already done. And just watch. Reason may deny it. Your senses may deny it. But if you remain unmoved, not letting anything phase you, then what you're grateful for will be objectified. And the world will confirm it. Because you get what you believe. Yeah. All right, guys, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button to help support this channel and the bell right next to it to be notified of my next video. I pump these out every single week so you don't want to miss them. If you're listening via podcast, I'd really appreciate a review. It gets more people to discover my work and, of course, help spread this message. And if you're new to LOA or manifesting, then go register for my free online training that'll seriously help you to start creating the life you really want right now. So check it out. The link's in the description. Like I always say, more is coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.